hello guys and welcome back to another episode of my lecture on today's episode we will be discussing admissions in previous proceedings by a party now in my previous episode i discussed admission in relation to conduct admission in relation to silence whether or not silence will amount to admission and whether or not conduct will amount to admissions after i told you that there are um, you know two types of admissions yet we have about four to five ways by which you know you can admit to a fact do you understand five ways but two types now in today's lecture we will be talking about admissions in previous proceedings by a party and what does that mean let us interrogate the authority that is the case of awoke versus owoduni now it should be noted that this case is a very very important case which is the reason why i wrote authority in front of it and you are very likely to be asked in exams that's um, the university of lagos exams especially when it relates to admission do not forget that this authority is in relation to admissions in previous proceeding by a party now in this case that is the case of awoke versus owoduni the court held that an admission made by a party in a survey plan made before the case or used in previous proceedings involving such party will consequently be regarded as an admission against the interest and can be relied upon by the other party in proof of the case so basically what does the authority of uh, awoke versus owoduni what does it tell us in actual fact it tells us that when we have a case a versus b this case happened in 1995 there was a survey plan that was entered into evidence by A. A tendered a survey plan in evidence and then B, you know, could not do anything. He couldn't object. He couldn't do anything. So while A was able to tender that survey plan in evidence in our hypothetical 1995 case. Now let us imagine that 20 years down the line in 2015, there was a case against A versus Z now z wants to rely upon that particular survey plan that a tendered in 1995 and a now wants to say no that survey plan cannot be an admission do you understand because what a is saying now is different from what a was trying to say when he tendered that survey plan in evidence now z in this 2015 case is saying but my lord what A is saying now wasn't what A said in 1995. A said this, and let me even show you as a form of admission that the position of A on this matter is that, that is that that he said in 1995 and not this, what he's currently saying in 2015. Do you understand? So if the length of the house was 20,000 acres, that was what the survey plan said in 1995. A is now saying that no, it is 1 million acre it is not what was written in that particular survey plan. What the court would hold based on the authority of Awoke versus Owoduni would be that since there have been a previous proceeding where A has admitted to a particular thing, that is in 1995, in this 2015 case, A would have no choice but to be silenced based on his admission in the 1995 case. Do you understand? So let me read what the authority says again. It says that the court held that an admission made by a party in a survey plan made before this particular case, that's the 2015 case, or used in previous proceeding. So we are trying to let you know that where the admission is made, even though it is was in the previous proceeding, but the admission has been made before the proceeding starts, then you can literally bring that admission into the court and tender it into evidence do you understand now if it was a case or used in previous proceeding as we can see in the notes if it was a case involving each party it will consequently be regarded as an admission against the interest of a and can be relied upon by the other party in the case that is z z can rely on a's admission in the 1995 case you, you get instead of what is currently saying now in the 2015 case do you understand so that is the authority of our care versus owoduni and this exactly is what it says so in my next lecture i will be teaching without prejudice admissions what are admissions which are to be termed admissions without prejudice
and whether or not they are valid admissions that can be tendered as valid evidence in court. I will see you in my next class.